Hi guys, welcome to Fast Panda Gaming. Uh, this week we're going to see the Claw and uh, Lewis take on Mission 4 from Operation Carlstrom. Uh, maybe uh, Claw will actually let him have more than two orders this game, let's find out. Um, so same as last time, I'm going to go through the new rules that are going to come up in this mission. Uh, very briefly, just talk you through them. Uh, you can obviously check out your rule books if you want to see more detail. Then uh, we'll let the Fast Panda Geist do a bit of an intro and uh, explain what's going on. Then we'll jump straight into the action and see who wins. So Mission 4 introduces uh, two new rules and a piece of new equipment which is relevant to one of those new rules. Uh, the first new rule is forward deployment, um, which is very similar to infiltration in that it allows you to deploy further up the board than the normal deployment zone. But as opposed to infiltration, which is a flat, allows you to deploy up to halfway, forward deployment is a bonus number of inches you can deploy outside your deployment zone. Nice and easy, not a lot of explanation required. The second new rule is mimetism. Now, on the camo tokens, you see there's a little minus three on the right hand side in red. And that's the mimetism modifier. Um, so that camo token has mimetism minus three. Now you don't have to have camo to have mimetism, the two are, are not intrinsically linked. Um, but it is handily marked on the tokens to help you remember. So most of my Yujing are over with the claw at the moment for him to play games with. But for example, this Shazvasti Shrouded also has mimetism minus three. This means anyone trying to shoot at him or discover him it suffers an additional minus three penalty on their attempt. So as an addition to range and if he's in cover and all that stuff, there's an additional minus three because of his mimetism. So having mimetism makes you harder to hit. Uh, and some troops will have higher levels of mimetism, so might maybe minus six. Now the piece of the, the piece of equipment I talked about is called a multispectral visor. And multispectral visor allows you to see through mimetism. So in code in Coldstrom, there is only multispectral visor level one, which negates the penalties from uh, mimetism by three. So if it's minus three, it would go to zero. If it's minus six, it would go to minus three. Uh, when you move into full code one, then there's also level two and level three variants, which are more uh, provide more bonuses. Are even better at seeing through camouflage and so on and so forth. Quickly in this example, if I the Hessian which again is one a using model that you can use in code one, but it doesn't come in Operation Carlstrom, has multispectral visor at level two, which means he will be able to see through the mimetism penalties of the shrouded and uh, shoot him much easier. So not very many rules to introduce in this scenario, and they're fairly straightforward and easy to understand. I'm sure we're going to see them in the game, so let's jump into the game and see who wins this one. Come on, Lewis, I'm rooting for you. The lab windows shattered as a stream of fire chased Sergeant Lundqvist across the room. As he slid over a bench seeking cover, he knocked an expensive-looking piece of equipment to the floor, where it shattered into a myriad of pieces. No doubt some corporate bean counter would complain. Well, they could suck it. They weren't here trying to repel a Yujing strike. They were all hiding away in panic rooms, protected by the laughable corp cops. It was up to the Winterford troops to drive off the attack. These Yujing thugs were persistent, the sergeant had to give them that much, but he had no intention of backing down. There was no natural danger on Svalahma that could match the threat posed by a trained and motivated Nakun trooper, as these attackers were about to find out. Thanks for the mission briefing, Stromstrad. What I thought we could do on this particular one is start having a look at the battlefield where you might want to deploy and all that kind of stuff because the deployment in Infinity is a big thing. So as you can see, we've got two buildings in the centre giving you a large line of sight blocking terrain. Now, with that, it's going to make the Spitfire devastating because you haven't really got any lines of fire that are longer than two feet and um, it's got four shots. So um, 
You've also got to think about when you win the uh, whip roll, whether you want to go first, whether which side you want to deploy on, when do you want to deploy it. Now, it's pretty even. The, you know, you've got small buildings and that kind of stuff. So picking sides, not really a problem. Going first with that Spitfire on this table, probably the most important thing. Uh, because as we know, Spitfire is devastating. All you've got to do is look at the last, uh, the last mission. So, uh, going first with a Spitfire on this mission, probably the most uh, ideal thing. So, what else can you tell about this black battlefield? These two buildings, they are straggling the halfway mark. So when you move your Daufei, whether you've got this side, you're only going to sit there. So you're not going to be in cover from that direction because you've got to be in contact with whatever's covering you. So you could be out in the open, you've got camo, you've got mimetism. You should be okay and it would be a threat, but on top of roof, you have to think about it whether you want to do that or not. You're knocking. Uh, you've got four inches uh, extra movement, so you could go up to, but not close enough to the building to get cover. You can on the, these things, uh, the billboards and things, but um, so be careful where you put your knocking, because that knocking, again, perfect, push it forward, because once you're in that eight inch sweet spot with plus six to your hits, it's ideal. The other thing to notice about this uh, mission is you've got two small buildings either side, and they're going to be your fort kick-ass. You need a nice defensive um, piece in either of them, whichever side you are, because at some point your opponent's going to want to come around and start taking out your uh, cheerleaders, your, your fusiliers or your zanshi. So having uh, a nice defensive piece in either of these little uh, buildings is probably going to be a must really. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward battlefield. So. As like I said, it's important to get that first uh, that first turn in, I believe, on this one. So with that, let's see who wins the whip, ro whip roll and uh, see who's going first. Okay, Pano goes first. Uh, well, no, Pano rolls first. He needs a whip of 12. I'm Zhanxi, uh, Yu Jing, and I get a whip of 13. So roll the dice. Six. Six. Try again. Two. Thirteen. I win. I'm going to go first. Do you want to put down first or second? Put down second. So I'm putting down first and I'm going first. Okay, so I've put two Zanshi up behind this barrier, covering this corridor that goes all the way down there. My sniper, uh, <coughs> Camo, is in the um, Fort Kikas. My Yuzhek, he's storming forward. Uh, nobody can see him at the moment. Down here, I've got another camo. Daufei. Uh, behind in cover with his uh, camo and all that kind of stuff. So he's, he's in cover and got all this stuff. And finally, I've got another Zanshi down here, kind of in reserve for uh, if I need to go left or right or whatever. So that's my deployment. I've left the buildings alone. Uh, and we'll see where the pano is set up. Okay, so Pano Sienna is put down, and oh look, knocking, looking directly at me within 8 inches, so ooh, that's going to be a bit of a, a pain. I've also got another Fusilier Colin and the Orc tro um, Trooper over there that can see me. So I think I've um, worried him a little bit. So not too sure what I'm going to do with him yet. Uh, I might go up these steps and have some fun that way. don't know, I'll have to have a see. So, as we go further back, we've got the knight who's in uh, the Panoshianus fort uh, with another fusilier and another fusilier over to the side uh, just to balance it up a little bit, I suppose. So, that's where all the troops are. That's where the knocking is. Ugh. And we'll see where we are. All right, let's see how we get on. Yu Jing, turn one. Okay, so, first order. And I'm going to spend it on the Hujak. Now, the Hujak has got a 6 2 move. So he's going to move off to the corner and then maybe a little bit more. But we don't want to come out into the open because I don't want to get an ARO at the end of my second order. So, next order. He's going to come out, staying in cover. 
and now he's looking down at that fusilier who's looking the wrong way. Don't forget when you are setting up models, make sure that they are looking the, the right way. So this model here is looking off that way. As this is a training uh, mission, I've just let uh, Lewis spin around as they should be. But it is worth noting to be careful of your um, line of sight because you can creep up behind people. And if you're not looking in the right direction, it can be pretty devastating. Okay, so this user jack is looking down there. He's not in a camo state. What's your ARO? Delay. You can't delay or defer because um, I'm not in camo. No. So you can dodge or shoot, really. Shoot there. You're going to shoot at me. Okay, let's me measure up. So I think that's going to be over 16. So, as I expected, it is over 16. 19. Yeah, so well over 16. So we are both in as minus three, because I've got a combi. We both got cover, so it's minus six for both of us overall. But I've got three dice and you've got one dice. Okay, so you've got one shot, needing sixes. Four. Oh, that's a good hit. Kind of need criticals then. I need fives. Well, I don't get fives. Damn, it hit me. So, I've got cover, and I've got three points of armor. So it's uh, six uh, points of armor, uh, cover or whatever. So um, with a damage 13, I now need, uh, or you need sevens or less to do damage for you, to do damage to me. 15, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. And we're firing. So, you're going to shoot at me? Yep. Okay, so you shoot. You need sixes. Two. Another hit. Oh, a one would have been a hit, but... And that's a miss, so... Again, another one. So one to seven, and you, you're, you do damage to me. A two. Bugger. Did damage to me. Ow! Okay, so... Orders are going down. That didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So, Lieutenant, it's going to be done at some point. So this guy is going to move two to there. Six gets me there. What's your, what's your ARO going to be? All you can do is discover or defer. Uh, defer means you don't do anything until I announce my second order. Or discover, you roll and see where the model is. Let's go for This knocking has seen me and the orc has seen me. Which one is going to discover? One could defer until it, until I'm seen. And the other one can... Uh, one can discover and the other one can... Or it's going to discover the knocking's going to defer. Okay, so your whip is 12. So 12 or less at that range. A oh, one, you discover me. Now, the knock had deferred, so he can't do actually do anything now. Okay, so the second half of my order, I'm going to stay right there. Okay, so another order. Uh, I'm going to use the Dauphi, and he's going to come up here, staying in cover, so I can see these two. And as I go down, I can't see anybody else other than those two. Those two can see me back. I'm not in camo anymore because you've discovered me. What's your ARO going to be? Shoot. For both of them or just yep. one? <clears throat> Shoot with both. Shoot with both. Okay. Okay. Spitfire range. Easy peasy. Plus six. Yeah, plus three. And you're coming back at me at a plus three for your combi rifle as well. So everybody's in the plus three range. Okay. So you're shooting back at me. I'm going to shoot you. And I'm going to put one shot in the fusilier and three into that spitfire which is deadly on this kind of board so i'm putting one shot in the fusilier and three shots into the knight okay so the fusilier has got a ballistic of 12. we have got plus three for range minus three for the cover we've also got minus three for mimetism so you're minus three overall needing nine nope yeah you missed I've got plus three, minus three, and no other modifiers. Twelve. That'll do me. Okay, so one to ten, because you've got uh, three points of cover and one point of armor. So, and it's a 14 point we uh, weapon, so ten or less. Okay, yes. Unconscious. Unconscious. I got one! Okay, now the big one. 
three dice against your one dice. You are plus three, minus three for the range, minus three for mimetism overall. So let's roll a dice. A one. It's a hit. I've got three dice, plus three, minus three, needing thirteens. A two. Beats your one. That's all. That's all that matters. You've got lots of armour and cover and all that kind of stuff. So roll the dice and let's see if we have to work it out. No. Seven. I think we might have to work that one out. All right, so quick calculation. We've got uh, five points of armour on that night, which is phenomenal. Three points of cover, which is, again, phenomenal. So we are minus eight, um, which is pretty good. So what we needed on a strength 14 was uh, one to six. And you got a seven. So just most people would have died on a seven. Huh. That would have been a wound. Yeah, okay, clever. Do you want to do that again? Actually, no. Grab an order. I'm going to move this Zanshi. I'm going to move this Zanshi to here. Looking all the way down there. And I can see a knocking. Only just a knocking. But I can see a knocking. What's that knocking going to do? Dodge. It's dodging. Okay. I'm going to shoot you. And you never know. I might get lucky. I've got minus nine, uh, let alone probably another minus four. Yeah, this could be difficult. Okay, so I've got uh, minus six because you're mimetism and you're knocking. I'm another minus three because you're in cover, so I'm minus nine. And uh, I was kind of gambling on this not being out of my range. So 16. Oh, so close. So, so very close. So it's another minus six. So I'm minus 12. Um... My ballistic again on a sun sheet? Oh dear. Um, I, I, I can't hit you. I, I was gambling that that was 16 inches. Okay, you get to do your dodge. Okay, so you've got a dodge. 11. I think your physique's more than 11. Norm, it should be. Let's just check in. Mm. Physique, pH. 10. Ha! He, he failed to dodge as well. So I couldn't shoot him and he failed to do. Okay, so I failed to hit the knocking. Um, but we do know, now know, that 16 inches is not far away. So that knocking has got to be careful where he moves or I will shoot you. So this Sanchi is now positioned so I can actually see down there and actually look at that knocking. Um, it failed, so eh, it's okay. Sanchi's in a good position. I have one order left. I'd be a fool not to use the Spitfire, wouldn't I? So, let's do the Spitfire again. I'm going to uh, wiggle my bum a bit. Your knight and fusilier is unconscious, so just your knight. What's he going to do? Fire because he, well, he can still be able to hit me. You could, or you could start dodging so you can get some free movement. This is my last order. You could dodge and get free movement. No, I'm going to keep him there for the time being. Are you going to keep him there in, in fork kick-ass? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, roll. Okay, so plus plus three, minus three, you've Panosia, the knight's got 14 ballistic, I've got mimetism, so it's still minus three overall, you need 11s. Five. Good hit. I'm plus three, minus three, I've got the four dice, um, and I'm hitting on 13. So, the five beats the three and the two, but I've still got two 12s. Not quite criticals, but two wounds. So, not to six. Two fifteen, ping ping. You're like a tank. Okay, Panosiana, first uh, round one, first order. What are you spending on? The knight. Right, what's the knight going to do? Shuffle and then fire. Shuffle and fire. I'm going to. You've got many orders, you're going to keep on shooting me. I'm going to dodge. Okay, so I've got a physique of 14. Five. So, more than five, less than 11, because of my mimetism. So what do I need? Less than 11, or 11 or less. Uh-oh, criticals are coming in. So, my five beat that two. It didn't beat the nine or the 11, so that's two wounds. That was a nine. So that's two wounds and a critical. No, one wound and a critical, because that missed. So one wound is critical, that's three. Come on, think about what you're doing. So three wounds. Let's roll the dice. Eight. 
don't think that's enough because I don't have as many. So I think it's just one wound. I'm going to check that before. Yeah, I'll check it. That eight, that eight's good. I needed sevens because I've got four points of armor, three points for the uh, cover. I mean, so that gives me a minus seven from forty from the strength fourteen. Uh, so I needed seven or oh, so seven or less. I would have hurt me. An eight, I'm golden. Whoo. Okay, so I'm still there. I'm not wounded. I also didn't dodge out of the way. So, your next order, sir. Hmm. I'm gonna move. Mm, okay. I see. I'll move. Lieutenant. Nobody's looking at the orc. Okay, so brave, brave. Sir Eric moves out of the way. I don't think we've got line of sight there. Top of the head. You're in top of the head? Mm, top of the head. <laughs> To it. I don't think so, sir. Not from this side. Okay, so with rude words, we've agreed that uh, we still can't see each other. So that was the first order of the orc. He still can move another two inches if you want him out of the way, because he could start going over to this side and taking out these anchees. So at the end of that movement, he uh, ends up quite hidden out of the way, pretty much like most lieutenants ever will be. So, next order. Shooting with my fusilier. Fusilier. fusilier? Yep. Who are you shooting at? Your lieutenant. No, your guy. The two Zanji way down there. Okay, so you've moved a little bit. You're looking at this, you uh, Jack. Unfortunately, you forgot about these two. That all can see you. So I've got three AROs. I'm going to dodge with the one on. Um, the left, shoot with the one on the right, and dodge with the Ujak. But do they have range? Don't know. But uh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna dodge with both of them because the range is good. Uh, well, might have a lot. Of, it's a long range, but it's I still have a chance. So yeah, left one, move uh, dodging. Right one, shooting. Ujak shoot uh, dodging because he gets the bonus to his dodge. Okay, and uh, nearly forgot. Who are you shooting at? All three into the Zuzak. Yep. Okay, look. This is all simultaneous, so we'll do the fusiliers first. So the one that's shooting you, I've got minus three for the range, minus three for your cover, so I'm minus six or so. Fives. Wow. Got you. This is simultaneous, so. Two. Take him out. The dodging Zanshi doesn't dodge because they never do. And let's do the face, face roll, because it's all simultaneous so that Fusilier is still alive. My Uzak is going to dodge on 11. Um, critical! <laughs> right, back again. Critical, yay! So you need to crit on three dice, on five, uh, sixes. No. No. You missed all three times. So I get to dodge. Okay, so I get to dodge an extra inch, so I get a three inch dodge movement. So I'm going to dodge way out of the way, this way. I'm also going to look at the wall, so I get to see anything coming that path that way, I get to see anything coming that way. Take the wound with him, but he's well out of the way. Okay, your next order, you got activating your knight, you're standing there. I'm going to dodge again, because you've still got two orders left after this one. Um, and you are going to, Shoot everything to your Spitfire. Shoot, spitfire me to death, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. My Dafe has got a dodge of 14. 17. I don't dodge. I'm getting good at dodging. Okay. Just got to hit me, dude. Dragons. Yeah, you hit me. None of them were crits, though, so only, only four. But one to seven, and you do some damage. Yeah. Damage, 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 damage. <laughs> nah, I'm dead, 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 dead. Uh, yeah. Spitfires are evil in this game. Okay, Lucy, you've got two orders left. And you're going to have to start moving around. Hey, no. oh, move your order. Okay. And you're looking at the knocking, so 
he's going to have a wander around, I think. I've got Sanjay looking at him, but don't tell him. Yeah, but we're going to move on. You can only shoot him when I'm in cover, so... I can shoot you. I can shoot I'll, I'll shoot you when you're not in cover. Yeah, but put this way, so... Oh, yeah? Yeah. Coward. No, it just means you can't shoot me because I'm out of range. Well, I'm going to shoot you when I can see you. But I'm still being covered up then. Uh, but, yeah, that's minus three, minus six, minus three. <laughs> that's minus... I'm not going to... I'm going to dodge. I'm dodging. I'm not dodging. Okay, so... This is your second half of your movement? Or is this is that another movement? It's four floor, isn't it? Yep. So you moved there. I tried to dodge. And so you moved. Okay. Now we, we need to kind of say what we're doing anyway, but uh, that doesn't matter. So you move, moved. I dodged after your move, so I can't see you anymore. So you have one order left, sir. Are you going to move that knocking again? Yep. Okie dokie. So it's 4 4. He's just having a wander about, isn't he? Yes. 4. Definitely can't see him. Yeah, it's over. He, he's, he's, he's back where he was. Not really. No, oh, okay. Look at the wall. He's looking at the wall so he can see both sides. Let me come round and see. Looking at the wall, so you can see everything to the left and everything to the right. It looks daft, but it's how you supposed how you got to do it. Okay, let's go into using round two. Okay, so first order, I'm down a few. I'm going to uh, move my Ujak. It's still six two, so six gets me there. Nobody can see me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do both move move and it gets me there without really being seen. Taking his wound with him. So that's that order. Back over here. Back over here. And so next order. He's going to that is lower than my silhouette, so I'm going straight over there. Two and a bit gets me to there. So I can get all the way up here on that six. Ah, sorry, storm shroud. Day. You um, OS shooting. Your knight's going to shoot shoot me, or I'm going to shoot your knight. Feathers. Okay, so the knight doesn't have to bother with the minimitism this time. So you are shooting me on plus three range, minus three for cover. So straight rolls of twelve. That gets me, doesn't it? Yep. That's a that's a good hit. Uh, I'm plus three, minus three. Uh, I need thirteen. None of those are crits. You got me. I do have three points of damage, three points of armor. No. Oh no, that was my second wound. I'm unconscious. Oh, that's foolish. Foolish. Okay, so. First order? Knock and move. Knock and. He's a 4-4. Four, four. Where is he going? This way. Oh, he's going to the right. 4. I ain't nobody going to see you there. And another 4. From the same point of the base to the same point of the base. Both times. Great. Okay. So. Number 1. Another 1. 4. Gets you to the edge. Now, you're going to have to start being careful because there are. There's an So move. you can see 1. Oh, you're going to, ah, you, ah, sneaky. Last block. So, another one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, where are you going? Night. Oh, the night's starting to charge forward. Mm, something like that. Six inches first. So straight over the barricade, down the stairs, beyond that one. Yep, I'll give you that. Pop. So the yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. Because you can jump over things that are I'm less than the base, and you're just staying there, yep. being very defensive. Because my Zanji can come get you. Okay. Next one. I think that was your lieutenant. You just moved, so you're moving your orc. Um, if I move too far, they don't come both see me. Okay, so your orc lieutenant yes. order.
running over the top of the corpse of um, that one. So I don't get to see it with this stand sheet on the corner, but I do get to see it with this one in here. So I'm going to dodge. Okay, we'll just fire. You're going to shoot. Okie dokie. Okay, so you've got a ballistic skill of 14. 14. We are uh, minus three for range, minus three for cover, so minus six overall. So you're going to need eight, three dice. I've got one dice needing tens, because that's physique. No. Oh, what a surprise, I don't punch. Is that, what is that one? Correct. That's an eight. Is that correct? Uh, minus six overall. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, one critical, so that's two armor saves. But one point of dark armor, your AP makes no difference to that. Uh, I've got three points of cover, so it's four overall. Uh, so I need, uh, so one to nine, you are doing some damage to me. Yep. An eight. I'm unconscious. You're unconscious. Okay. Okay, so that Zanji's dead. So the threat of just being over eight inches away from that corner of that building is over. So. Your last order of round two, sir. Move the. I'm I'm suspecting it's in this corner. You don't need to measure it. So you stand on that bottom step. And that's it. Because all you got to do is. There we go. So you're poking out a bit. I'm poking out a bit. Should we measure that distance? I don't think we have to because that's we know that that's less than eight. So you, I'm going to dodge because. You are minus six, minus, so I'm minus nine to hit you anyway, or I can dodge on a 10. I'm dodging on a 10. You are plus six for your range, minus three for, your, for my cover. So you're plus three overall. So you're ballistic, plus three. And you've got burst two. Okay, so straight physique roll for me. A one. Yes, I dodge. So more than one, less than 15 on two dice. There's a one. So they cancel each other, which is nice. But there's a seven. Uh -oh. Okay, so the boarding shotgun in this mission is AP. Uh, but I've got one point of armor, so it makes no difference. Ha! Uh, I do have three points of damage, uh, three points of armor, so it's four. So I need, uh, so you need me to roll less than 10 for me to, you to injure me. 12. Ha! Ha! Okay, so going into using round three, the last round, you are, you've got that Zanshi pinned. But you've only got one shot this time, so I might be able to get move out of the way. I've got a sniper. So do I go over here? Try and take him out long range with the sniper? That's an option. I'll certainly outrange you, but I don't think I'll be in a good range. I've got another Zanshi down here. Do I start charging forward? Or there's those, oh, I've not really got that much options, have I? Okay, let's have a look at me. Let's have a look at me orders. Okay, so I'm getting fed up with me being at this game. Right, apart from last mission, I, I won pretty well, and I'm, I'm holding that. So first order, I'm going on to this uh, Zanchi. I'm moving out a little bit, move out enough so I can see down past this one to Colin the Fusilier. Follow me. So Colin the Fusilier right over there, but I'm staying outside the view of him. So I've moved. Colin, the fusilier can see me. What are you doing? Dodge. I'm going to shoot. Okay, so you're dodging on your physique. That is 10. because you're a pleb. Yep, 10. Sorry, Colin, but you are a pleb. Is that a nine? Yep. You get. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, minus three for the range, minus three for the, because I'm just out of 16, minus three for the cover. So I'm minus six overall, so I need fives. I didn't get any fives, so you dodge successfully. So. Okay, so next order. I'm going to zip to this side. See you're dodged over there. I can now see past this one, over that, past that one, and into Colin again. Over there, look. So Colin, over there, I still see Colin. I can't see the knight, all is golden. What's Colin gonna do? Shoot. Colin the fusilier is gonna shoot this time. Okay, so we are still probably gonna be over 16. Let's have a quick another measure. Still just over 16, which is a shame. So we both, plus three, minus six, uh, minus three and minus three. So you're hitting me on sixes, I'm hitting all fives. So Colin the fusilier hits me on a six. 
And the Zanshi hits you on a five. Mm, one. Oh no! You've got a dice roll. Nine or less, and then yes! Another point for me, because that's a six, not a nine. Okay, the last order of the game. What do I do? I'm going to get defensive again, I think. So, the last order. My Zanshi's going to move on to this bottom step. Okay, so, I've moved over here. I don't know when he wandered off. Uh, the cameraman kind of starts looking at other things. So, this Zanshi now is looking that way. So, everything that way. So, I can see people coming down that way. I can see people coming down that way. As I said, facing is important. Okay, that is it for using round three. That's all I can do. I scored another point by killing Colin the Fugler. Uh, let's go into Panoceanic's last round. Okay, so lieutenants for order first. So the orc moving there. One shot arrow. Dodge. Yeah, and you are firing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so my Zanchi is uh, physique 10. I dodge on a 9. That's probably the best one of it, unless it's a critical. You got three dice. You are uh, minus 6 overall because of range and cover. Yeah, I'm golden. I dodge. Yay! And I end up there. I think perhaps you should have got me with a knocking. Because you had a much better shot. But never mind. Okay, so next order. Moving the night. The night. Uh oh. You, you've gone there. Can I draw a line of sight? Yep, down the edge of there. I'm going to. You know what? I'm going I'm to live dangerous. I'm going to shoot you. My dodger. Uh, my Zanshi is a straight roll. Uh, plus three, minus three. Twelve. Mm. I wish I was a uh, fusilier. And you've got how many hits? You are plus three, minus three. One. Oh no. Okie dokie. One. No. Oh. Don't need to do this math on a three, do you? Okay, the tactical decision not to use a knocker and use the orc. Let's put this way out of the way. So, this fella has either got to run around and face the sniper. Or, yeah, you've got some thoughts to do now. Mm, not use my orders. Two orders left and you're not going to use them? No, because the sniper could easily shoot, like, a guy only has one wound if he dies, I'm you. You are going to be in a good range. I'm not, I'm, I would be in a zero range, so if you stay on the corner. You would also want your extra objectives, and if he dies, he gives you two points. Yeah, so, so is that one. So is that one. So if you came out of the corner, you'd still be in cover. I'd still be minus nines. I can't do that then. You are seeing through my mimetism. Yeah, we still like my good range though. Okay, dokie. Okay, so four, four. Four gets you to not quite the end. Hang on. Not quite. I wouldn't move any further forward because I will see you at the end of that roll. So you're next. The last order. Move. Now, do you want to move back because I can both see you if you move back a bit? There we go. So, I was actually can't see you, but my sniper can. My sniper is going to shoot you. Why not? You won't want to be surprised because it cloaked. No, you only surprise shot in my turn, and it's your turn at the moment. So, it's not a surprise shock. shot. What's your, what are you going to do? Shoot then. Shoot. Your, your multi-spectral visor sees through my mimetism. That's not good. Okay, so we are just over eight inches. I say just, it's about 10. Uh, I am going to be at minus six for your mimetism and minus three for the cover, so I'm minus nines. You are shooting me back uh, three for cover. My mimetism doesn't count because of your multispectral visor. So you're just at minus threes. I'm at minus nines. Okay, so uh, for me, it's minus nine. Yeah. <laughs> 20. <laughs> Two gets me. Two's a winner. So, and you're AP at the moment. So, I've got three armour. So, three armour. 
So it's uh, one and a half round up. So I've got two, uh, two so five, uh, five. Oh dear. Okay, so uh, minus four. Is it minus four? No, what would I say? Yeah, minus five, sorry. One to nine. One to nine. You've got me. So the last roll of the game, one to nine, and I'm dead. Dead. Oh. Okay, so at the end of the game, I've got lots of unconscious tokens all over the place. Uh, I killed some Fusiliers. I killed three of them. I got three points. Whee! You killed everything apart from the Fusilier here, who's probably going to get shot to, in, in the back side of the head by that knock and if it went any further anyway. So that's nine with my, with my lieutenants and my special characters and all that kind of thing. Yeah, nine, three, two, the Panosiena. Uh, okay, so join us next time uh, for mission five with even more models and a little bit more complication because I get to use a flamer. Yay! Well, you use a base shotgun. And you use to get different shotguns. Okay, so with that, happy wargaming.